Evening guys, welcome to another episode of Back on the Bench. Now we're not here with Back on the Bench just to show you how to make rigs. Today we're going to show you how to save money. Now today we're going to teach anglers how to make their own sinkers, but we're not going to stop there because I know what you're thinking. Your everyday sinker molds like these are costing you 40, 50 bucks each. How's that saving your money? There's way too much outlay before you're starting to get there with savings. So I'm going to teach you today how to make a sinker mold for perhaps our favourite type of sinker here at On Point. I call this one the Sand Reaper. This particular sinker here holds in sand in some of the highest surf that I've ever been in. Let me quickly run you through what you're going to need to do this, alright? This, it's this simple. Long nose pliers, even though these are stumpies. A step hole saw piece. Okay, so this is one of the pieces here that, that's gonna do everything from uh, 10 mil to 30 mil. 13 mil drill piece. Some swivels. And a block of pine. That's right, pine. Okay, now I guess you're wondering how we're gonna do this. A drill press like this is always handy, however not necessary, but for today's video that is precisely what we're going to use. So look, let me get to setting this drill press up and I'll catch you in a sec. Okay, so this bit of pine that I'm using here is 70 by 70, okay, and of course then we've got our drill bit already in the chuck. Now for the purpose of this, we're just going to make one, one cavity, of course with a length like this, I'd be looking at putting 12 or 13 in there. But look, as I said, we'll get this done quickly for you. So let's just turn the, the old drill press on. We'll line up your center line. And then all we're going to do is go down to as far as the drill press lets me. Now keep in mind with this drill press here, I've got it set so it's definitely not coming through the bottom of the 70 mil. And there's step one done. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to take the um, drill piece out of the chuck and we're going to put the whole saw step piece in next. All right, see you in a sec. So now that we've got the hole put in the pine here, we're going to use the um, hole saw piece here. Now what I'm going to do is this is going to take a little bit because you've got to come down slowly and this is, it is creating quite a big cavity in the, um, in the wood. So we will put this in fast motion as I get it going. So we'll just turn her on. And then nice and slow and steady, in we go. And there you have it, your step drill hole. Now once this is done, we're just going to clean all the cavity out with a little vacuum and empty it all out. And then we're going to get the lead pot happening, okay? So I'll see you in the next bit. Okay guys, now keep, keep this in mind, we're doing this as cheap as possible and lead is not expensive. As you can see here, we've just got some scrap lead. You can get this from anywhere. It can be from um, tire fitters, scrap metal yards, wherever you like. It is available and it's damn cheap. So all we're going to do now is I'm just going to put this in the bottom of the pot. We're going to light, light the burner. Okay, away it goes. Now I'm just using um, a Coleman little burner with Profil underneath. I like to put that up against the wall so it's nice and stable. And now all we gotta do is we're just gonna wait for that lead to melt. Now you guys don't wanna watch this for 10 minutes while that melts, so um, I'll catch you as soon as it's done. Right guys, so look, with getting your second hand lead, it does come with its downfalls, only a minor one though, and that is that the lead is generally dirty. So if you have a look inside the pot here, you can see all the dirty stuff in there. Okay, now, all we're going to be doing is using this here spoon to go across the top nice and gently and you're just going to spoon it out okay nice and gently and as you can see there we're getting all the rubbish out so I'm going to continue on getting all this rubbish out of there and we should be ready to pour in a couple of minutes it's going to be great right so now we've cleaned the lead off we're ready to go. Now the good thing with a wooden mold like this is that you do have a long cooling period, okay? Unlike aluminium or any other metal mold, which is designed to really pull the heat out of the lead to get it to dry quickly, wood won't do that. Now where's the advantage for that? When you're using swivels for your eyes, you can pour your lead 
and then you can place the swivel in straight afterwards okay now also don't be concerned that your lead isn't perfectly clean because you're probably not going to get it perfectly clean but here we go let's pour her into our mold in it goes and I like to fill it so it's just over the top we'll turn that off quickly All right. get the lead pot on there so what we're going to do now quickly is we're just going to get this tiny little swivel in and as you can see remember I said you didn't need to rush there's no rush for this so we're just going to push him in there just like that and there we go so now what we're going to wait for is we're going to be probably waiting at, I don't know, roughly about a minute or so for that lead to set. As I said, it's very slow to extracting the heat through the wood. Okay, it's probably going to start um, smoking a little bit, but that's just the wood burning off. And once you've used this particular mould three or four times, it's no longer going to be smoking. Okay, so look, I'll catch you in a minute when we're ready to turn the mould and thump it out. And um, we'll catch you then. But even now you can see she's almost set. All right, catch you in a minute. Right guys, so as you can see, we've got it here. Block your ears, you're about to get a bang. And out comes the sinker. Now I'm not gonna pick it up with my hands because she's still gonna be a bit warm. But as you can see there, you've got the perfect sinker made. Now this, this particular sinker here, that's gonna come out with, with the full depth drill at 180 grams, so six ounces, which is absolutely ideal for any heavy surf. Now, due to the design, sorry for not looking at the camera and talking to you, I know that's cardinal sin number one. Come here, big boy. With the design of this sinker having big flat edges at the front, okay, that's really gonna dredge right into the sand, okay? Um, and then with the shape as well, that's gonna fly like an absolute bullet. So guys, I hope you really did enjoy this DIY sinker mold video. Um, hopefully it saves you a lot of money because it's so cheap to do. And um, until the next back on the bench, I'll catch you later. See you next time.